go to Pennsylvania, a Senate race that just months ago most thought Democrats could easily win. It's now a toss-up. The Mehmet Oz campaign has changed its strategy in the last few weeks to focus on bipartisanship in Washington. Oh, my God. NBC News reports. <laughs> His critics aren't That's buying clear. it. Mm -hmm. Democrats see his message as blatant hypocrisy, considering he's backed by former President Donald Trump and has campaigned with him. On Sunday, Oz hosted a roundtable event with mm -hmm. Senator Susan Collins of Maine and Congressman Brian Fitzpatrick of Pennsylvania, <laughs> two of the most moderate Republican members of Congress. There are signs Oz's new strategy has resonated with voters. His new messaging has coincided with a rise in the polls, where he now finds himself in a virtual <laughs> tie with Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman. Adrian Elrod, your take on Pennsylvania this morning. Yeah, first of all, I'm not sure that vo voters are buying this bipartisanship, this yeah. new strategy by Dr. Oz. I think at, at this point, to the point, you know, Donald Trump and some of these people who have come to endorse, I, I don't think it's going to work. Uh, but, but look, a couple of things have happened in Pennsylvania that have been very favorable toward John Fetterman the last few days. First of all, the Oprah Winfrey endorsement was huge. This is For one of those Fetterman. areas where a yeah. big surrogate endorsement matters because she really propped up Dr. Oz's she career created the him. reason she yeah. created him. So that was big. And of course, you've seen our party's top surrogates going in. Right. Uh, President Obama has been there a few times, President Biden, of course, Scranton Roots. Uh, so it's been, we, 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 have, we are obviously looking at this, I think Democrats are looking at this race as ground zero in terms of whether or not we hold on to the Senate. Um, Fetterman looks better. He sounds better. Uh, you know, by the way, he's sounding great. He's sounding and, fantastic. And, and it's important for people that we all saw him in the debate. Mm -hmm. And obviously, uh, he was very challenged. I would guess, though, because of the nerves, because of everything else, it, would, it makes a difficult situation even more difficult. We haven't seen him campaigning day in and day out like the people of Pennsylvania on local news. You heard him last night. Very strong. Yeah. Very. Very, uh, very articulate. Very put together. Very forceful. That's what, uh, at least from the clips that we saw, that's what people in Philadelphia in Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. in Williamsport. That's what they've been seeing. And it may be one of the reasons why he's holding tough in those polls. And, yep. um, and, and why Oz just can't seem to get over that 45%. Yeah, that's right. And look, also Josh Shapiro, who's running for governor, is running really an outstanding strong. campaign. Yeah. That's going to help propel Fetterman over the finish line. I've said this on the show a couple times. I know that they exist, but who are these, uh, you know, Oz, or rather I should say um, Shapiro Oz voters? Yeah. Who are the? I don't, I don't think they exist in large margins. Mm -hmm. It's hard to imagine who's yeah. going in and saying, I'm voting for Josh Shapiro, but I'm also going to vote for Dr. Oz. Well, that, that and and, and the, 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 one of the main reasons why it has less to do with ideology, Jonathan, than it does the fact that Oz has the highest disapproval ratings uh, I, I've seen it with a competitive Senate candidate. Uh, they've stayed high. Yeah. And, and, you know, people around his camp have have they keep waiting for him to break that 45 percent barrier 46 percent barrier to get close to 50 and they just haven't been able to do it yeah i mean the label that oz is out of touch has stuck he's never been able to shed that the idea that he lived in new jersey he's voted for turkey he he doesn't know the names of the local supermarket chains he doesn't know when the steelers have their bye week that has never gone away and and, and by the way that's not good. Remember, I think it was Martha Coakley who made a uh, made a statement about Fenway. I think mm. did she say it's the first time she'd ever been to Fenway or something well, like that? Well, yeah, she, yeah, and she messed What's up the names of some of the players, players on the yeah. team. Oh, I mean, yeah, no, you, and in a certain that states matters. that it matters <laughs> anywhere, but certain states in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts are among them. You got to get that stuff right. Nothing matters more than Eagles and Steelers in that in that state, especially if they think you're out of touch. So people it really may, forces the argument. Yeah, people may say, "Oh, that's really shallow. Who cares about?" You know, if you know if your way around Finway or whatever, it doesn't matter if you're not out of touch. It, that's right. Uh, if you're not perceived as being out of touch and everything Oz is doing, misnaming supermarket chains and and not figuring out when the Steelers play football. I, uh, 
That puts him out of touch. He doesn't steam up Pennsylvania. Right. It just reinforces that. And the, the Oz campaign has targeted those Shapiro voters in, yeah. with recent weeks, and that's behind this bipartisan push. And the Fetterman, I was texting with a Fetterman aide yesterday, who literally would just send me screenshots of Trump standing behind Oz, <laughs> glooming over his shoulder at their rally the other night. He can't shed that label either. Dems I've talked to, they think it'll be close, but they're feeling better about Pennsylvania than they were 10 days ago. You can't yeah. at the last minute say, look, I'm having coffee with Susan Collins and have that wipe away the <laughs> oh, fact yeah. that Donald Trump endorsed you. He handpicked you and he's at all of your rallies. Yeah. You can't right. have the guy who calls it's his ridiculous. opponents animals on your side and say I'm a bipartisan right. Adrian senator. Elrod, thank you so much thank for coming all. in. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Election Day. And